I'm going to talk about retractable screens, uh, specifically a product available from Larson, the Tradewinds. So this is a Tradewinds retractable screen door. As you can see, I've disassembled this guy because we're going to talk about replacing the screen. I've got a video on this step-by-step -step how to do it. Check out the channel. But this piece right here is what the screen wraps up on. Now, most people have never seen the inside of the roller. So I've got it right here. Let me set this down and see if I can get a good view on it. So here is the roller screen. This end will pop right out and I can show you the spring that the screen actually rolls up on. This looks like a garage door spring. When you pull it out, let me get a better view here. This is what's inside of your roll screen tube. It's basically a giant garage door spring. Sorry if it's out of focus here, but it's a giant garage door spring. So, the manufacturer, when your screen goes bad, they'll tell you, oh, we can send out another one, and you can install it yourself. It's super easy. Well, I tend to not believe them because what they want you to do is install it yourself. And if your screen loses tension, then this little flange right here, they want you to take the pliers, lock it on there, and then rotate this 26 times to tighten it. Well, the problem is that becomes like an airplane propeller. And if it slips off, it does that. Watch your fingers on that, it will bite you. So my advice, hire a good storm door guy to uh, get that fixed and replace the roll screen. Don't do it on your own.